following the events for us, because, Tom, uh, we must remind people Boris Johnson is still prime minister today. Yes, still Prime Minister for a few hours more. Boris Johnson currently working in Downing Street behind me, so says his official spokesman. Now, Boris Johnson does have some things on his to-do list today, not least a phone call with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. That's coming uh, this afternoon. Uh, but really, it is also wrapping up. I've been told that the process for uh, moving out of Downing Street begun over the weekend. There were a couple of pictures uh, of uh, removal vans spotted in this street over the weekend. And of course, Boris Johnson leaves for the last time as Prime Minister tomorrow morning. That's before taking an aeroplane up to uh, Scotland to meet the Queen uh, and indeed tender his official resignation. Immediately after, Liz Truss kisses the Queen's hand, takes an aeroplane from Balmoral back down to Westminster and and indeed makes her first speech as Prime Minister tomorrow afternoon. That's before all of those Cabinet appointments that we have been discussing. It's interesting, looking at Home Office questions there in the House of Commons, uh, Priti Patel has stayed neutral in this race, in this uh, Conservative leadership race. There was a lot of speculation that she would throw her hat in to the ring and stand as a candidate herself. That never happened. And ultimately, a huge number of candidates, 12 or 13 candidates at one point stood in this race. Priti Patel decided the field was just too broad that there wouldn't be a way in. But perhaps that's a decision and her neutrality in this contest may be a factor that plays against her in the next 24 hours as tomorrow afternoon and evening those uh, appointments to the cabinet are made.